Judge Me Shopify tutorial, how to use Judge Me for beginners. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Judge Me and how you can use this incredible product reviews platform with your Shopify store in the easiest and most simplest way possible. Okay. Now, Judge Me is basically to boost your sales with different types of product reviews. You know, you can go on different types of stores like, you know, Gymshark, Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, etc. And over there with each product, you will always find reviews. And what store runners do is they basically add these kinds of things to their products because um, what happens is, you know, whatever products you have, you boost sales with it, get reviews with it. And with each review, people are more attracted you could say towards the product okay that is exactly what judge me does and it is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can easily connect judge me how you can use it accordingly with each product and how you can also set up your shopify store according to judge me all right now to start things off what we are going to be doing is we're going to go over to our Shopify central, which is shopify.com. Okay. You can get any pricing for yourself. Okay. I'm going to be using the free trial that they give you for three days, but you can go with any one of these if you want to. So to start with the free trial, I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself. Now you don't necessarily have to use a temp mail for these steps. I'm only using a temp mail because I'm giving an example. I wouldn't recommend temp mail because a temp mail is basically, you know, a, an email that lasts for 24 hours. So we don't want that. Now over here, we're going to add our email and we're going to click on start free trial. Now here it says, let's get started. Which one of these best describes you? So you could go with, I'm just starting, or I'm already selling online or in person. I'm going to go with, I'm just starting and click on next. Now it says, where would you like to sell? either an online store or an existing website or a blog. I'm going to go with an online store. What do you sell? We will help you import your products and customers and other store data. So I'm going to go with products. I either buy or make myself or drop shipped products and we're going to click on next. Now, this is one of the most important, you could say, uh, questions that Shopify asks you, which is where will your business be located? Now, the reason it's so important is because according to this, it's going to give you the proper appropriate shipping rates. It's going to give you the proper payment rates, and also it's going to give you the appropriate reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next by skipping all of those. And now it's going to bring us to this. So create a Shopify account, sign up with email. Now, once you come over here, we've already added our email. You're simply going to need to go ahead and add your very own password into this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on create Shopify account. And here it says, welcome to the best converting checkout on the internet. So as you can see, it keeps on building your store. It's not going to take a lot of time. It's going to load you in into, um, you, know, you know, within a few seconds. So once that is done here, we are loaded in to our Shopify central. Now over here, what's going to happen is you have home orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, discounts, online store, point of sales, and ad apps. So these are different options you get, you know, in your Shopify store. These are different options you can pretty much go through. Now, in our case, if we want to go ahead and add judge me, what we're going to do is we're going to click on add apps. And once we click on add apps, we're going to go straight over to the Shopify app store. Now, as the Shopify app store loads in, uh, what's going to happen is, you know, you can get tons and tons of reviews applications if you want to, but you know, judge me is first of all, specifically built for Shopify. And the best part about judge me is that it's totally free and look at the amount of reviews that it has 34,284. That is crazy. So you can see free plan available. Now you can easily collect and display unlimited product reviews and ratings. Okay. You can grow online sales with judge me, the fully customizable product review app, collect unlimited photos and video reviews via automated emails, display eye catching widgets and show UGC share ratings on social media to build trust, enhance SEO and PPC by showing ratings on Google meta, engage shoppers with coupon and referrals set up is super easy. And you know, you can help yourself with it pretty simply. You can also easily collect and manage unlimited reviews with photos and videos, display eye catching star rating store reviews, carousel and pop up reviews. You can send coupons and referrals to encourage new and repeated purchases, sync to and from the shop app, push ratings to Meta X Google Shopping. You can also import reviews from Amazon, Etsy and other review platforms. OK, so it's pretty incredible and pretty great stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going ahead and installing it. 
Now, once we go ahead and install it, basically it's going to ask us to grant a request. So we are going to go ahead and click on install. Okay. Now, once we go ahead and click on install, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the, this judgment review section where you're going to click on start setup. Okay. So once you click on start setup, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you here to the app embed. Okay. So you're going to have to enable the app embed setting. So to enable the app embed setting, it's going to bring you here to the Shopify central and over here, you're simply going to wait for things to load in. So here we have the app embed, we have activated it. And obviously all the times you activate it, make sure to save it. And then we're going to come back here. And once that is done, you're going to click on continue. You're going to install the review widget. So we're going to click on install review widget. And once you do that, that is going to open up the review widget in your Shopify. So you're going to turn this on and obviously once you have turned the review widget on for yourself as well, again, click on save and you're going to come back here. Obviously in the case that, you know, that does not work out, you are going to want to make sure to, you know, redo it because this is a very important step to go through with. Okay. And uh, you can, you know, pretty much work with these app embeddings functionalities for yourself pretty simply and straightforwardly. So once you have added the review widget block, you can come here and it says install the star ratings badge. So we're going to do that once again as well. So I'm going to open up the Shopify admin where it's going to install the ratings badge for me. Again, all of these things are going to be embedded over here and connected to your store pretty straight away. And once all of this is done, basically from here on out, what's going to be happening is you are pretty much good to go from here. It says set up your branding. So you're going to choose to display and collect reviews using your brand colors, where you can choose the color of your review stars and add your logo, which you can update later in the application. So here, let's say I'm going to go with the star colors on, let's go with white. Okay. We're going to go with white as our star color. We're going to click on continue. And here we have domestic orders, international orders on how much the reviewers requested after the fulfilling 14 days seems good. And once that is done, we're going to go ahead and start exploring judge me. Now, once judge me is connected over here, you can actually find its features right in this section. So, you know, you can increase conversions by displaying reviews in user friendly and customizable widgets, review widgets, star ratings, review carousel, Q and a, and much more. You can also collect more reviews automatically generate reviews on autopilot by sending unlimited review requests on both the forever free and awesome plans where you can customize request emails and AB test them. You can also manage reviews by easily following up on customer feedback by sending replies featuring your best reviews in launching marketing campaigns with the app partners and also share reviews across multiple channels where you can reach a wider audience by sharing your reviews on social media, boost SEO, add review stars and ratings to Google search. All right. So it's pretty incredible stuff. You can also see why judge me is the good plan, you know, find out what customers say about them. You can set it up in two minutes, which we literally did. It's a really simple and really easy onboarding process. And once all of this is done, you know, you get tons and tons of features to actually correlate it with. So, you know, uh, collect the reviews from other stores like AliExpress, Alibaba, engage your reviews and, you know, pretty much share your social proof with great SEO rich snippets and Google shopping. So it's generally pretty incredible stuff to have at your expense. And it's the best reviews app on the market at a very low price. So, you know, just uh, go ahead, set it up. And once you've set it up, you, you know, you're good to go because you can access these different types of reviews for yourself now. So once we're over here in the review section here, it says, just me your review insights. So review requests sent 0% reviews over time, 0% reviews generated 0%. And obviously all the analytics right now are on a zero. Now, if you want to go ahead and manage them, you can manage your reviews from this section. So this brings you to the reviews dashboard. Now here we can import and export our level of reviews. So let's say if I go to import and export, you can import reviews from a CSV file if you want. Okay. So we have all of these other reviews apps as well in either the judge me format or something like that, or you can import from e-commerce platforms, import from wizards or other review sinkers. So let's say I'm going to come here 
and here it says you know this is how you're going to import you can even download a sample of the doc spreadsheet so i'm going to make a copy of it so it can be downloaded and you know this is the review copy so title of the review body of the review rating review date and all of this stuff okay so this is the format you're going to want your reviews to be in if you want judge me to process them properly okay so once you have gone through with these reviews you just need to go through the moderation where you can either auto publish reviews okay or you can publish reviews manually that depends on you now moving on down here you can get different types of review restrictions as well where only buyers who have received a review request can see it and only buyers who have received a re review request email can see it you can also give it a spam filter uh, give yourself personal information and you can also add a profanity filter for the reviews if you want to now moving on you can also go ahead and schedule requests for reviews now basically what this is is whenever you send out an order what happens in that case is, you know, um, whatever order you have sent, a review will be asked for that order, okay? And having these things for yourself is, um, you could say, centralized, um, you know, income space because this allows you to truly, you know, go through with the main things, okay? Now, basically, uh, what's going to happen is you are going to go ahead to the schedule manual request or schedule request in batches depending on whatever your csvs are schedule all of the reviews requested from them and that basically you know helps you up you know it, it helps you you know start off uh, really straight off and um you know it uh, gives you a proper review sectioning now over here in widgets we have the getting started section where you can basically customize the widgets you want. So we have the review widget where you can collect and display product reviews on your product page. You have the star rating badge where you can show the average rating of your products on how many reviews that they've received. You have a reviews carousel where you can showcase your best reviews in a carousel on a page of your choice. Pop-up reviews, question and answers, judge medals, floating reviews tab, all reviews counter, and a whole lot more. So it's pretty incredible and pretty grand stuff to get your ID around. And let's say in this review widget, I want to go ahead and install it. But before installing it, you can also go ahead and customize it. You can customize it accordingly to whatever liking you have. So we have the widget theme. But obviously for all of this, you are going to need the awesome plan, which is $15 a month. So you are going to want to make sure to get a proper idea from all these things and you know it gives you a general uh, idea of ratings and widgets your styles you can customize the text accordingly to however you want it and you know once all of that is done you know you're pretty much good to go that is how you're going to be managing your reviews and adding them to your shopify store in the easiest and most simplest way so yeah if you enjoyed this video please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i'll be making a whole lot more for you till then that is all from me and i'll be seeing all of you in the very next video have a great and incredible day and i'll see all of you next time goodbye